Welcome to Homeschool Huddle. My name is Miss Jennifer and I work at the Ada Community Library out at the Hidden Springs branch. Since April is National Poetry Month, we're going to celebrate by doing another session of Poetry Club. So what's poetry? Poetry is a type of literature or artistic writing. It attempts to stir a reader's imagination or emotions. A poet is a person who writes poetry. Anyone can be a poet. There are so many different types of poetry out there. Today, we're just gonna focus on autobio or I poems. Since we're focusing on autobiographical poems or another name of that is I poems today, um, I thought it would be interesting to talk about what an autobiography is. So an autobiography is a story of a person that's written by that person. It can take many forms like letters, diaries, and books. Um, one book that I really enjoy is The Jolly Postman and Other People's Letters. Um, this book is by Janet and Alan Alberg. Uh, it's a story about a jolly postman who delivers mail on his bike to fairy tale characters like Cinderella, Jack's Giant, um, Goldilocks, and there's tons more. Each letter is tucked into real envelopes that you can actually pull out and read. Um, uh, one of my favorite examples of diaries um, is Anne Frank's, which is entitled The Diary of a Young Girl. And many people have read this. Um, it's one that's really important in the history of our world. Um, another type of diary that you are probably familiar with is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, that is a fiction um, story but it is about a boy who writes in his diary and that's the whole basis of that book. Um, and then a book that I thought you might be interested in um, that is a autobiography is actually Boy Tales of Childhood and that one is written by Roald Dahl. He's the author of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, uh, the BFG, which stands for the Big Friendly Giant. Some great, great books that he's written. All right, so now it's time to look at what an autobio or iPoem is. So first of all, remember that it's written by you and it's all about you. Uh, here's the template that you're going to use in order to write your poems today. The first line will be your first name. Next, four things that describe you. Um, the next line will be family relationship. Sister of, brother of, cousin of, niece of, something like that. Lover of, things that you love, three things that you love actually. Who feels, something that you feel strongly about, who needs, what are three things that you need, who gives, what is something that you give to this world, uh, next, who fears, and you'll list three of your fears. This one was interesting to me, um, trying to figure that out. So that one might be one that, that you can talk with your family about and figure out something that you wanna share on that one. Um, next, who would like to, and this is kind of a dream that you have or a goal that you might have that you would like to do. Resident of, this is where you live. And you can be very specific about that or you can be more general. And then your last name. So this is my autobio poem. Jennifer, wife, mom, writer of poems, often found reading, mother of Joni and Brian, lover of God, family, and nature, who feels happy with her life, who needs respect, care, and love, 
who gives hugs to anyone in need, who fears loss, ignorance, and judgment, who would like to travel the world, resident of Boise Canova Drive, Huizinga. Using the template from the previous slide, I want you now to create your auto bio or I poem. Once you've finished that, you're going to start your editing process of your masterpiece. The first thing you do is you read it to yourself. This is an important step in any of your writing when you're editing. You have to be sure that it makes sense. Once you've done that step, you're, it's time to share it with someone else. Then you can check your spelling and that'll be your sloppy copy. Once you've got that all done, you've scribbled out things that are misspelled or crossed out something that didn't make sense and made uh, your writing make sense and have it spelled correctly, then it's time to do your neat sheet. When you do your neat sheet, you use your best handwriting or you could also type it out. Finally, once you've got that masterpiece finished, you get to illustrate it, which means you can draw pictures for yourself um, or you could add the graphics from the computer. You are now a poet. I would love to read your auto bio or I poem. So just email me your masterpiece. I promise I'll email you back. Here's my email address. J-H-U-I-Z-I-N-G-A at A-D-A-L-I-B dot O-R-G. Here are some great books that you can check out from the library to help your child identify their strengths. I've also included a YouTube link that will read these books out loud if you would rather do that. The first book is I Am Perfectly Designed. It's by Karamo Brown, and it's illustrated by Anusha Saeed. The second book is I'm Gonna Like Me by Jamie Lee Curtis, and pictures are by Laura Cornell. Um, the book I Am Perfectly Designed is a celebration of modern families and their special bond between parent and child. It's infused with the trademark warmth and wisdom that have established Karamo as a beloved public figure. And I'm Gonna Like Me um, is a book that Jamie Lee Curtis writes, and it's just a lot of information and a story um, that helps kids to understand why they should like themselves. Thanks for joining Homeschool Huddle. Here are some great sites I found. Check them out if you want to try some other forms of poetry.